All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's second blog. Here to give you a preview of the Washington Huskies for the 2015 college football season. Now, head coach Chris Peterson is entering his second season with his staff. Last season, they had a pretty good year, going eight and six overall. Due to good play on the defensive side, they had three star players that they actually no longer have to the in their teams. They're actually now in the NFL as pros, and they're actually entering the season without quarter quarterback Siler Miles who showed great promise last season but actually retired due to a chronic hip injury that he has been dealing with. Now last season he had 2,397 yards passing, 17 touchdowns and 4 interceptions. Now this year the starting quarterback is either between J the incoming freshman Jake Browning and Jake uh, uh, and Jeff Lindquist but it looks like this is Lindquist's job to start at quarterback over Browning in the season opener. Now he does have a decent running back behind him and Dwayne Washington. Now he did rush for 697 yards. Not many yards, but actually in three of the final four games of the season, he actually rushed for 100 plus yards. Those are good numbers and I think he could be due for a thousand yard season this upcoming year. And also Jaden Minkins is the top returning wide receiver for the um, Huskies this upcoming year. He is a senior. Then this is his final year to showcase his skill and hopefully boost up his draft status for the 2016 NFL Draft. Now, on the defensive side, they did lose three key players in Danny Shelton, Halohi Kikiha, as well as Shaq Thompson to the National Football League. But they did have a good freshman last season in Buda Baker, who could have won the Defensive Freshman of the Year award for the Pac-12 Conference. I think he's a decent defensive back for the um, Huskies, and I think he's one key player to look at on the defensive side in the near future for the upcoming seasons. Now, also, I just mentioned Jake Browning as a, one incoming freshman for the Huskies, but they do have a couple of good running backs, four-star running backs in Austin Joyner, as well as Chico McClaxter. And I think this is going to add more depth to the running backs for the Huskies. Huskies. And they also have a decent defensive tackle, six foot three, two hundred and seven pound player, and Benning Bateau. I think he could be, if he gains some weight, he could be a good future and be that next Danny Shelton for the Huskies defensive line. Now, overall, this upcoming season, I predict this team to go down a little bit. I think they still will become bowl eligible, going six and six for this season, seven and five at best. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if they don't become bowl eligible, but I think they will come and become at least six. And six this upcoming season. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have many more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.